Just got the Micro Swiss all metal hot end kit with the uh, chassis block also. And I, right next to it, I have the original. We'll do a little comparison. So it just comes packaged, regular USPS envelope. And this was purchased directly from Micro Swiss. Okay. Here, I'm gonna kind of fold back for my for my address, keep that kind of confidential. But here it is, uh, all metal hot end with slotted cooling block for a Wanhao duplicator i3. And I chose, I change it from the default to a 0.5 millimeter nozzle. And I like those because I mean that's kind of the one I started on um, when I used a my buddy's printer bot and kind of got it working a long time ago. And I really like the 0.5 millimeter. It can suffer uh, from detail problems, but man, it prints pretty quickly and you can do some pretty big layer heights also if you're if you're into that all right so I'm gonna open this it's kind of a it's packaged in some more bubble wrap so they're really it's double insulated because this is also a padded envelope so it's ship it seems like it's shipped pretty responsibly and pretty well and uh, here it is so you can see it's uh, few items in here so we've had basically it's coming with four bags it appears one of them is a 0 0.5 millimeter nozzle that I requested and you can there's a lot of different options even you can get even big, bigger than this so make sure you look at the pull down menu and really consider maybe going for something other than 0 0.4 give it a try or maybe grab a couple of them uh, but anyways the thermal barrier tube MK10 so this is what everybody loves, all right? These two parts. And then I also um, decided that I wanted to get the clamping block, which is pretty nice. So let's take a look and uh, take a look at the nozzle first and compare it to the original duplicator I3 nozzle. Okay, one thing you're gonna notice right away, let's see if this can focus on that well, is that there's this isn't big enough to accept a PTFE tube. The original was. So if you look at the original, it's a much larger opening for the original one. That's because the original intended to have a PTFE tube. Actually, it was it's inserted in there. If you open it up, when you if you happen to uh, buy this, you're going to have to take this off. And so that's one major difference. You can also see that uh, the material that this is made from is quite different. Okay, and uh, so I'm going to put that back in the bag and go on to the next item. Okay, so in the next one, the Micro Swiss uh, MK10 all metal hot end upgrade thermal barrier tube. This is what basically transfers the heat. Oops, I'm having trouble with the Ziploc bag. Quality Ziplocs, I can tell you that, they're thick, heavy duty. All right, so again, you're going to notice uh, this one's still attached to this, uh, it was kind of stuck, but. Another thing you're going to notice, uh, kind of a similar uh, type of an opening there, but not, not exactly. And you can see that this one, uh, same thing as the other, it's not designed, the new one is not designed, the replacement by Micro Swiss, it's not designed to accept this PTFE tube like this. So that's, that's one major, major difference that you can see. All right. Excited to get this on there. Um, Nothing to really special to see here, just a little bag with a uh, Allen wrench or a hex key if you want to call it that. All right, so the, the next part, I splurged a little bit, cost 50 bucks, but I figured it was probably worth it because I really like this design. You know, I've done a lot over the years with MK7 extruders, which had the threaded, they would thread into here. And um, I played around with a lot of different blocks like this, and this one just looks pretty sweet. I really like that. So one major difference you can see is on the original, the set screw, that kind of clamps it down, it applies pressure from this side, and basically, essentially, what you can only count on is you're gonna get real good contact on this part, but not on the other side. Um, this one just sets a normal set screw. Now, this one is a clamping screw, so there's a little slot grooved in here. And again, you don't have to buy this. You know, you can buy just uh, the nozzle and the thermal barrier tube, right? You can still just buy this part, I think, um, but you can spend a little bit extra and get this custom machined block also.
So you can see that you, you insert that in and just right here on the end there's a set screw or a, uh, actually I should say a clamping screw. All right, so that's it for the unboxing and um, kind of a tour of what comes with and a comparison to the uh, original. So, you know, if this helps you at all, uh, give the video a like. You know, I don't do much with unboxing videos. I'm just starting a little bit. So just tell me what makes a quality one. I have no idea. Um, constructive criticism is always welcome. And hey, everybody out there with the Wanhao Duplicator i3, keep printing, having fun, man.